who's on the well, there's so many the female Mount Rushmore these days. Well, it's tough to be a lady. I feel like in comedy because you're you're a, the lady comic. There's so right. many funny comics who are women that like don't get their due because it's almost like you heard in the 80s there could only be one funny black guy it was True. like richard pryor then it was eddie murphy then it was chris rock chris rock yeah. yeah and you got amy you got jessica kearson you got uh carmen lynch laurie kilmar there's so many funny uh ladies uh, mm-hmm. taylor tomlinson you know killing it so uh I don't know. I don't, and I don't love the goat thing. You know, I, yeah. who's the goat? And you know, everybody's like, Chappelle's the goat, or Louis the goat, or Bill Burr's the goat. I'm like, ah, eh, it always changes. Some people are better at this kind of yeah. stuff. So, it's like saying, who's the best porn star? Lisa Ann. Hello, well, yeah, a friend of the show. What are Lisa, we talking about? She is pretty great. Yeah, yeah. she's great. We're so, all taking it up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, watch out for Amber Joy Lane, by the way, for on, hey. on that list. Oh yeah, um, there you go. Yeah. So, um, but. I agree. Yeah. The GOAT is like an annoying argument. There's going to only be the one, but who are your comedy heroes? Like, who's on your Mount Rushmore? Just yours. Okay, well, I'm a weirdo because I, I go way back. Go I for like it. I like Groucho Marx, who's a guy from the 40s, 30s, and 40s. Silent mustache. Well, not silent, but mustache. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, I feel like, okay, gotcha. All Similar. right. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> but then I love, I grew up loving Bill Murray, was like my hero as a kid. I love Larry David so mm-hmm. much. He's like my number one. But then Greg Giraldo. Uh, Rest in peace. George Carlin. Carlin. Yeah. Carlin. Love Carlin. Carlin's fun because he's getting all this uh, shit after he died. Like everybody's right. like, the left c- claims him, then the right's like, what about this joke? And, yeah. you know, Carlin was the quintessential comedian when both sides hate you. I think you're doing something right. Correct. Um, so Carlin, uh, Seinfeld was huge for me. Chris Rock was huge for me. Louis C.K., Bill Norm Burr. Norm has to be. Norm, Norm is in my top five yeah. for sure. I, I totally am biting him a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, no. so yeah. <laughs> you just both have these like very signature voices. I All think. right. Hey, I'll take it. But different. Yeah. Why? Yeah, does he remind you of Norm MacDonald a, a little lot. bit? A lot in really? the best ways. Yeah. Thank you. That, a that good a looking lot. young Norm MacDonald. Oh, he was handsome in his day. I'm saying. Yeah. You mentioned David Tell. Is he on your list? Love somewhere? David Tell. Love David Tell. David Tell is tough because I know him. Yeah. So I should put him more on the pedestal, but I forget because he's just like a, such a killer comic. But uh, yeah, David Tell's, I would say, the goat. But well, hey. Look, I'm going to kind of put you on the spot here. Um, you know, Jerry Seinfeld called you the best young and up and coming. All right. He was drinking a lot. He was yeah, clearly <laughs> drunk. Yeah. If you could say somebody that's young that you see doing their thing, New York City comedies or someone that you're like, yo, this kid, watch out for this guy. Because they're going to come back and say, Mark Norman called so and so and so the true. best. Who do you think? Well, there's a there's a couple guy. Uh, Sean Patton is uh, is hilarious. He doesn't get his due. This guy Chad Daniels, uh, Fahim Anwar is really funny. Like there's all these guys and gals. Hold on, let me and name gals. some women here so I don't get yelled at on Twitter. But uh, yeah, I named a bunch of ladies at the beginning. You did, but you did. Yeah. You, got, you, okay. did, you did great. So you know, a add, lot of people. I'm gonna add one more to that list. Watch out, New York City. Uh, Marcelo Hernandez, friend That's of the yeah. show. Oh, over there here. you go. Our boy that uh, you met the other day. Yeah, a oh, young up and comer. Dina Hashem, very funny, very yeah. funny comedian. But I just think funny isn't number one anymore. Like now, it's like, what's your thing? Are you trans? Are you in a wheelchair? Are you Asian? Yeah. yeah. You know, if funny. Like, there's a lot of guys funnier than Fluffy. But Fluffy yes. is Fluffy. You know, that's really what it takes to be. I'm not saying he's not funny, but it takes more. You got to have a gimmick. You got to have a character. You yeah. got to be likable. You got to have heat. You know, Sounds funny is like out. You need to be a trans Asian in a wheelchair who happens to be overweight and fluffy and boom. They would get a deal instantly. I guarantee. But I feel like there's more space for more different yes. kinds of comedians now because we have access to your exact uh, target audience. Exactly. Like, look at TikTok. So there can be mm-hmm. somebody in all of those niches because there is enough of an audience for those people to survive, even if they're not applying to like the entire demographic. 